Greetings and salutations, folks. It's Slappy Mac with Slappy Mac's Toy Sack here. Uh, today we are going to discuss Bobby Vala's Action Force, Valaverse Action Force Duster. Um, I got this on his Wounded Warehouse. Good deals there. Um, I suggest you check it out. Um, he has a. Uh, these figures are worth paying full price for, to be honest with you. Um, they're, they're really good put together figures. They're really well sculpted. They're they're all unique. Everything about them is is phenomenal. They're really really good set, good series of action figures. So, without further ado, let's open Duster. All right. So here is Duster Action Force Duster. Um, the reason it was in the Wounded Warehouse is because of this blemish here. It's dented. I don't mind that because I don't keep my action figures in their boxes. Um, I'm gonna adjust this camera just a little bit. Um, and to be honest with you, I originally I thought about buying this this figure for this head here. Um, I was gonna put it on my Black Tom Cassidy figure for Marvel, but then I did some comparing, and I I, I think I actually like the head that's on the Black Tom Cassidy, believe it or not. And this this figure, his eyes are not blue. Black Toms are blue. Oh, here. Okay, so here let's let me show you this. So this package comes, this box, with this, let me pull this off, it's also got a clear film that's all Action Force figures have this, like when you buy when you buy them brand new they always have this clear plastic film on them, which I think is pretty nice. Um, so we'll take that plastic film off, we'll do our typical, oh! We're going to talk about accessories first. So, let's talk about hands here. Because Bobby knows, Bobby Vala, thank you from Valaverse, knows what fans want. We want choices. You can have the C-type grippy hand in a right or a left. You can have... The open gun holding hand, which is not a thing with uh, Marvel Legends figures at all, or, Mar or, or, or G.I. Joe's classifieds, and no Hasbro figure does this. So that's for holding the, bear holding the gun. Or you can have fist hands, right? Now these are just the ones that were in the box. So you get a base with every action figure. Action Force base. These are awesome. I, I four pegs. You can put them in different positions, however you want. Like nice steel pattern. It's pretty cool. I like the Action Force steel, great pattern. Fun stuff, man. So he comes with a pistol. Now, mind you, this does not look like a Nerf pistol to me. This actually looks like it could be. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know my guns very well, but this looks like it could be a Beretta, maybe a 45. Um, but awesome gun. He's got a rifle. Again, I don't know my guns. I, I'm, I apologize for not being the military dude, but um, pretty cool. Clips come out. Just like all Valver Valver's figures. This stuff here in the corner. This looks to me like it's going it's gonna be all connected for the helmet. Ugh. Okay, so this part goes on here, that's the night vision goggles. don't know how these go on. Let me see. Huh. I don't know. They don't seem to... Well, let's figure... We'll figure this out later. But these are earmuffs. Like, this is a, a microphone. Headpiece. Here's another earphone. Ow. Okay, so this... Is obviously for just with 
speak without the helmet. So, I don't understand. I don't want to break it or bend it. I'm not sure how these go on. Hmm. Well, unimportant, truthfully, because... All right, here's the alternate head. This is a pretty sweet looking head. Um, like the screaming, the handlebar mustache, nice goatee. Like I said, because of the eye color, I, I decided not to put him a black Tom because black Tom is, and his hair color, his hair color is brown. Black Tom is definitely has black hair and um, blue eyes. The, the His eyes look more like they're probably brown, maybe green. Um, cool teeth though. Really cool open mouth head sculpt. That's a pretty sweet head, I think. So I'm gonna end up just having to use it on the duster here. I did say that there may be a bent antenna. I don't see any bent antenna, but that's okay. I'm glad not glad it's not. Um, so we've got his holster up here for his gun. For his pistol. He's got a knife. Knives all come out with Valiverse figures. Clips. Oh, I can't. I can't. Yep. My fingers are slipping on them, but clips all come out too. I'm not going to try to pull that one out because this was a pain in the ass to get out, but clips all come out too. So the clips can go in the into the, the rifles. Um, canteen on the side. Got his CB or walkie-talkie on the on his back shoulder. I cut. Double knee bend. Pinless. He has full pants. I kind of dig that. Um, in fact, it looks like... This pants are supposed to, yeah, it looks like the pants are supposed to ride down. Sorry, I'm off camera. Pants are supposed to ride down over that. That's what I think this is like. Good looking face on this guy. I think he's based after some uh, uh, MMA fighter or something like that. I don't know. But like that. Pinless. Double elbows. He's got, he does these wicked butterfly joints. Like these, these butterfly joints are so awesome. They, they go so far back, so far forward. Um, and it's all for using the weapons because his, I think Bobby's attitude was if they're going to hold if they're going to have a gun that they're going to hold in a certain way, then that gun needs, that, that gun needs to fit in the hand properly. And I like, For instance, I'm going to show you. Ugh, pull that out. Ooh, almost spilled my coffee. Put this one on. And then you can bring the arm forward. Bring the arm up. He's holding his gun proper, right? I mean, that's an awesome feature. These these figures all need this kind of thing, you know. Um, Hasbro, where are you? Because you're missing you're missing the ball on this one for sure. So let's see, put this helmet on him. Oh, I don't. Uh, I wish I could figure out where these go. Just not that clever, I guess. Unless, oh, that's what that's what it is. These come off. Okay, cool. So those little flaps come off. This is being a major pain in the keister and doesn't want to stay on, but that's okay.
Huh. These, I think they go towards the back and the bottom. And put that in there. Alrighty. Yeah, I think that's how these go. And then all right. I think maybe, maybe. Maybe. All right, I'll put that aside. We can put these on them. This guy looks like Jake Gyllenhaal to me. Huh. He's got a little spot on his face there too, I wonder. I wonder if that's a blemish like a paint or if that's so I'm gonna take a look at it and see if it's yeah just a little blem a little something that got stuck in there but I'm gonna pull this head off let's get this one off put this one on This one's a little more difficult to get on. Huh. I wonder. Uh, let's put this back. We're going to try to put it on like this. Might be a little bit difficult because of that open mouth. I wonder. Well, there's okay. Head doesn't turn very well. I don't think it's on there completely. But I like that head. It looks pretty sweet. No, it does actually feel like it's on there. That's on there, but I think I like the... There we go, put that on there. I think I like the Jake Gyllenhaal looking head better. He actually looks better that way, I think. Let's put him on his stand and see how he does there. I don't think I want the helmet on here. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do with the helmet. It's not bad. I just don't know if I like it that much. Not very hip to the how the <coughs> stuff keeps falling off of it. I'm sure that these will be. It's, it's that's a little quality issue that they'll figure out in the future. I know I know how Bobby is, so at least I think I know how Bobby is, and I don't think that he'll stand for it. He uh, seems to be pretty on top of his stuff with his action figures, that's for sure. So we'll put these back on. those back on
helmet fits kind of goofy on his head, I think. I feel like it might have needed to be slightly bigger, but again, I have no complaints with these figures for the most part because they're made so well that they don't need all of that extra fluff or any of that nonsense. Um, like I like the, the to be honest, I don't think he needs the helmet. The helmet doesn't it takes away from the actual figure, the sculpt. He's got really cool looking hair. He's a really good looking figure. Um, so, this is Duster from Bobby Bella's Bellaverse Action Figure Series Action Force. He comes with all of this stuff, and I mean all of this stuff, which is quite a bit. Well, I think that's a pretty cool action figure. And um, I, I, my thoughts are that, um, Bobby, keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep making these awesome action figures. They are phenomenal. I love them. And uh, they have straight up replaced my G.I. Joe classified figures because of how Hasbro is, their price is going up. Hasbro is almost the same price as Valiverse figures there. Anyways, you might as well buy Valiverse because they're better sculpted, better figures. They're all around just a better um, figure. So. <clears throat> so, what do you think about um, Duster here? Uh, Valiverse action figures? I kind of dig them. Um, again, I'm looking for replacements for Hasbro, Mattel. Um, I'm sick of their corporate greed i'm sick of their their price gouging um if if bobby vella picked up marvel tomorrow i would be buying all of bobby vella's marvel figures um so let's just be honest the 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 licensing and the, their hasbro's excuses and how they they're like it's it's all garbage so go pick up an action force action figure these are the bomb they're super cool way fun to play with um, and, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a good one.